Pats fans and management are probably tired of hearing that it's now 51 years since their last cup success. Drogheda beat Cork City in the 2005 final. Here's Tony O'Donnell. Drogheda were the men in black at Inchicore. And despite the Saints' early dominance, the visitors' captain, Paul Crowley, had this looping header sail over Barry Murphy's crossbar. St. Pats were once again hoping that this would be the year to overcome their cup hoodoo. Chris Forrester began this sweeping move that included touches from Farty, Russell and O'Connor and called for desperate defending from Drogheda. Brian Gannon it was who cleared the danger. But from the resulting corner, Vinny Fardy's attempt was smothered at close range by Gabriel Sava in the Drogheda goal. The travelling Drogheda fans happy to be scoreless at this stage. It was wave after wave of Pat's pressure, but all their effort washed up on Drogheda's defences shore. Coming up to half-time, and the Saints really should have been ahead. Forrester's effort blocked here as well. Into the second half and a similar narrative with the Reds in the ascendant. St. Pat's did have the ball in the net. But referee Paul Chewett spotted a handball by Chris Forrester in the build-up and Pat's most dangerous weapon was now on a warning. Despite the yellow peril, Forrester still created most of the danger, spotting an opening here for James Chambers. His shot, though, blocked down. Now, you may have noticed a particular pattern to the action. Pat's dominating. Another deep diagonal cross here. Another shot cleared away, this time off the line, possibly by Pat's captain, Conor Kenna. Once again, the danger averted. And here we go again. Another deep diagonal ball. The ball falling to Saints captain, Conor Kenner, from distance. This time a save at his near post by the busy Sava. As the clock counted down, the chances of these sides having to meet again tonight in the replay grew bigger. Another pat shot, another Sava save. Sava most people's man of the match on the night. With minutes remaining, Pat's tried again from the corner kick. A teasing cross to the far post. Same result though. And so Drogheda survived a clearly one-sided contest, yet it could be a very different story in tonight's replay. And both teams will know before the finish who stands between them and a place in the Aviva Stadium in the FAI Cup Final in November. Friday's final score, Pats nil, Drogheda nil. Ah, we'd be a little bit disappointed, but we're in the cup. We're still in the cup, should I say? You know, it'll be a tricky another, another time on Monday evening. But uh, I thought we played reasonably well in the second half, and probably deserved a little bit more than we got. Yeah, I thought we retreated a bit too early in the second half, and we defended far too deep and allowed Pats into the ascendancy. But uh, credit to the defence, like they defended very, very well. Uh, Our friend had a great chance near the end to, to win it. But that's cup fo fo football for you. We rolled our luck, and uh, we look forward now to Monday night's game.